turtle. My Did father you? put me on a cross. He's I on his way. I have to because I know my rights. Your department's violation. Control is taking off on me. Send me additional. Hang up. Control, control. one button. Don't move. She's on top. Big red's on top of her. Big red's Get on top. Get that door open. No, you're not trying for shit. What? 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 How long do you think you're gonna get away from? What? What did I do? I haven't done anything wrong. Is there a lot of kids taking a shower? 420, I have a caller reporting a female and possible female distress. 160 Road. The, the RP says that he loaned a trailer out to a homeless person and He's afraid to approach that trailer because the person is standoffish, but he d it does think that there's a female in that trailer with the man who he loaned the trailer out to. The RP's name is Jeff Hinkle, and he says that Raymond Hall is the man he loaned the trailer out to. Can I throw that up on your cab? 10-4, thank you, go ahead. Seven minutes. Control 420, in route ETA, seven minutes. Copy, ETA, right. seven minutes. Right? Take right, yeah. Information only, 420. There were reports last week of a missing female last seen at the mix bar, and the reporting party, Mr. Hinkle, says that that bar is near his home. That's a good description of female. 10 4, thank you. Do we have a description of the female? Female who went missing at Mix Bar was named Ashley Sanders. She was white female, 5'7", approximately 110 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes. Right here? Yep, take right. Take right. Okay, 16065. One, six, Where does the map say it's going to be? Uh, it only mapped it. signs or addresses. Do you see any house, house numbers yet? No. Nope. Here's that 160, hold on. 16028. Yeah, 35. Let's see if it's uh, ascending or descending at this point. There's 16049, so possible next house. Control 420, you have a color of the house? 16065. 420, on scene. This trailer in the back right here. Sheriff's Department! What do you want? Open the door, Sheriff's Department! They got a screaming female inside. Open the door, Sheriff's Department. Open the door right now, I'm gonna kick it down. Open the door, we're gonna break the door for you. You gonna weigh in? I gotta weigh in here. Push it. Possible gas. Control 420, where the trailer, Any. female screaming inside, trying to make entry. Any possible exits beside, beside the door? Watch the door. Let's see if we can get an eye in. Open the door, come out with your hand up. Not happening. Open this door! Sounds like she's bound. Partner, you less? Partner, you less? Yep. Ma'am, are you okay? 
Ma'am, are you okay? Sir, come out with your hands up. Single male inside the fire extinguisher. I see her right here. Okay. He's running back and forth. It's run. all smoked out. Yeah. Control 420. He's filling the uh, cab of the RV with the fire extinguisher. Female, front compartment. Sounds like she's bound. Ma'am, what's your name? Does he have a gun? Ma'am, does he have a gun? She's screaming. Can't get eyes on. Let's fucking find him. You see him? You're gonna get tased! Let me see your hands! What was that? Something's was that a dog? Not sure, pardon. Right? Or that smoke? Hot oh, smoke. Oh, he has something on a stick. He's got something on a stick. Is this a broom? Just a broom. Let me see your hands, you're gonna get tased! Let me see your hands, you're gonna get tased! The fire extinguisher can't, can't have much more in it. No, I just wanna get right in the eyes, we're gonna be done. We're, yeah. we'll be done. 420, still trying to make entry. Can't see this mother I don't think you can get through the back. It's over on this side. Yeah. Ma'am, scream if he has a weapon. He's got a weapon. Control 420, females inside indicating that the male has a weapon holding her hostage. Sir, come out with your hands up. We're going nowhere. Yeah. What's that? Let's go grab the rake. I want that cabinet out, out of the way. Can you still hear me? Scream if he has a gun. Does he have a gun? Pardon, I just see a broom. Yep, just a broom. I see hands. Hands. Show me your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let out. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Well, we're gonna get some, brother. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Ah! Stuff back down. Get in. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Look out. Go, go back. Go partner. Ma'am, is it just you in here? Is it just you and him? Anybody else? You okay? You okay? Come here. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stand up. Stand up. Let's go. Get that door open. Get that door open. Is everybody else in this camper? No. Anything I need to be worried about in this camper? No. What's your name? You. Wait, you're saying I'm the problem? What's your name, brother? You're very quick. What's your mom's name? Do you have anything in your pockets that's gonna poke? Stab me? No. Cut me? No. You okay? You okay? Let me see your hands. Let's roll on your side. A little bit to the right. Prong's coming out. Twenty-one. You're twenty-one? Okay. What else is inside that trailer? Does he have any weapons, guns, grenades? He has hey. no grenades. I don't think he has any guns. It was a fire extinguisher and drones and it's a metal like oh. Okay, I'm gonna come talk to you in a second. Just relax, okay? Code four. Copy. Stand up, Raymond. Confirm, Raymond. Yeah. You get prongs him still? Prongs are out. <coughs> Pull him out. Let's go outside. Did you search him? Front pocket's back. On the ground right here. I haven't got the shoes yet. On the ground. What's your name? Raymond. Raymond what? Paul. What are you doing with that girl in there? I don't know. I should say till I talk to a lawyer. You're good. They get on your face. On your face. Lay on your face. Ah! My taser go. Stay there, Raymond. Somewhere. How's she, brother? She's okay. I gotta Good. run back. Yeah, it's Ashley. Good. Is Ashley? Yeah. Control 420, you have Lamb out my uh, RP? Yeah. Not exactly sure what's been going on around here, but it's probably called crime, crime scene investigation. Yeah, everyone out. Everyone out. Let's just, let's just keep it off, brother. He said there's nothing. Control 420. <laughs> Go ahead and notify Detective Murphy and uh, CSI police. We're going to need their response here. Uh, we're code four. They can have a delayed response. We're clear of the trailer. Uh, we're going to lock it down. What are you doing with that girl in there? I ain't got shit to say to you until I talk to a lawyer. You got nothing to say to me? No, I know my rights. Okay. Okay, Raymond. Be the right to remain silent and not say anything which might incriminate yourself. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I have the right to you can stop me. answering my questions. I ask you at any time. You have the right to a lawyer with you when you go to court or during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights? Yep. Okay. You want to answer any of my questions? Okay. Let's throw it down for a second. Let's throw it on the seat for a second. Let's call medic immediately. What's that? Let's call for medic immediately. I want to get her checked out. Okay. Get ambulance on the way. Yeah. Well, we'll that's going to be a 45 minute response time. Okay. So we we'll, uh, why don't, uh, let's wrap, we're gonna, let's clear up here. I wanna, hey, what's your name? Jeff. Jeff? That's RP, mostly. Yeah, right. here, hang on. Hang on with him real quick. Okay. Hey, Jeff, come on, talk to me real quick. Did you call in? Yeah. Okay, so what'd you hear? Just kept hearing weird noise, you know, like something, and he told me, well, and banged on the door, and 
He said, get away, do your business. And he said, cut down on your TV, but. Okay. And what were you hearing? You hearing a girl screaming? Yeah, just whining, and, you know, kind of like making noise. Okay. You said, you told you told the dispatcher you sound like a distressed female. Yeah. So was she screaming? Was she saying anything in particular? No, couldn't hear her saying anything. You couldn't hear what she no. was saying? Have you ever seen her before? Have you ever seen a female here before? Yeah, his wife was here before. What's his wife look like? Oh, I don't know. About her height. Dark hair. What color hair? Dark hair. Black. Dark hair? She hasn't been here long. Is she, she is she, is she heavy set? Is she, no, is she lighter? No, she's a medium sized girl. She's medium sized girl? With brown, uh, br brown or black, black, black hair? Approximately five foot six? Uh, yeah, a little shorter, maybe five five. Five five? How much do you think she weighs? I don't know, 130 pounds. 130 pounds. Okay, go ahead and, um, well actually, this is, uh, Raymond, is, you, is he your tenant? Yeah, we went to church and he, uh, I, he was needing a place to stay, so I let him come here. Yeah, he's a church friend of yours. Yeah. Which church is that? Oh, just one right up the street here. One right up the street? Yeah. The, yeah. Um, what's it called? Community church. Community church. <clears throat> okay. Any other information you know about him? No. How long has he been much. staying here? Just uh, not long, much so. About a month? Maybe. Okay, does he pay you to stay here? He's supposed to be. Okay. I want you to walk over to my car with me and see if you recognize this female inside. Actually, you know, why you stay here? Part, if you want to just bring her out and put her on the passenger side of the vehicle, stay right here for me. Want to stay here? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to bring her out on the right-hand side and just see if you've ever seen her before. Hey, Ashley. Ashley, I know you've been through a lot. I need you to step out just for a minute. Let me help you out here. Right there, good. You ever seen her before? Oh, not really. I might have seen her around town or something, maybe. Right, I'm saying, have you ever seen her come in here, no, come in the trailer or anything? So you don't know when she possibly arrived? Uh -huh. Is this the first time you ever heard a disturbance of the female out here? Yeah. And was this just, just this morning? Yeah, I know yesterday I heard a little bit and then... Not, you didn't, you didn't think about why didn't you call yesterday? I don't know. I didn't. It wasn't that bad. Didn't think of anything of it? Today was a little noisier. Okay. Around what time do you think it started? I don't know. I might have been messing around. Okay. Uh, about how long before you called the dispatch? Yeah, probably right away. Right away? Right, yeah. Okay, so you heard you heard the disturbance again today. Yeah. Similar to what you heard yesterday, but worse today. It was a little louder. Louder today. Then you called dispatch. Yeah, I just called dispatch. Called 911. Okay. All right. And then... Uh, Yesterday, about what time were you hearing that disturbance? Oh, in the afternoon. Afternoon, so sometime between I give me know, around five o'clock. About five o'clock. Yeah. yeah, yesterday. Okay. And you only know him from church. You don't know him, him no. outside of that. No. Do you know that if he uses any narcotics or if he's a drinker or anything like that? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know that well. I okay. Don't know much about him. So he stays here on your property. Do you guys ever hang out together? No, we talk a little bit. Just know. talk. Yeah. But you're just doing him a favor, letting yeah. him stay here because he get no place to go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, sir. Appreciate you calling in. Um, we're gonna need to have a crime scene unit and a detective. They're gonna come down here. Yeah. They're gonna want to speak with you later on today. Yeah. Okay. Their response out here is probably gonna be about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, so we're gonna secure this trailer. What I need you to do is don't invite any friends, family members, anybody on your property that can contaminate the crime scene. Yeah. Okay, and what I want you to do is stay on your porch and stay in your house. I know that sounds a little ridiculous to be kind of caged inside your house for an afternoon. Okay, uh, if you need to leave, you can leave in your truck, you know, out this driveway. Uh, which, are these both your vehicles? Uh, no, that's a friend of mine out there. He's not here. It's a friend of yours? Yeah. Okay, uh, if you can withhold going out into this area, um, that'd be great. That'd be better for them. It'll, call, it'll, it'll cause less work for them. Um, are you going to be around all day? Well, yeah, I guess now I am. Okay, the Texas are going to think, hey! hey! Texas, we want to come speak with you. Don't go anywhere near the trailer. Don't take any pictures of it. Don't do anything. Um, don't have anybody on the property. Don't tell anybody what's going on here. Make sense? Yep. Any questions for me? Nope. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, but I can leave if I need to. You can leave if you need to. Yes, yeah. just try to stay as far away from the trailer and this crime scene as you can. Okay. All right? Thanks, Jim. Jim or Jim? I don't know. Um, let's... Uh, I want to keep 
I want to keep him on scene. Okay. I want to get her out of here, yep. get her checked down um, at the hospital ASAP. Cool. Okay, so let's, um, let's let me get out of here with her. Yep. Okay, why don't you move him. Yep. Let's move him just a little further back and let's just tape off this whole area. Absolutely. Um, here, let me help you with that real quick. Is she back secure in the vehicle? She's secure and comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Stand up. See the blood in his hands. Yep. Coming. Stand up. How are you feeling from that taser? Yeah, f you. Okay. Why'd you have that girl in your, in your trailer? What girl? That girl that I pulled out of your trailer. I don't know what to say to you until I talk to a lawyer. That's him down in this chair right here. I'm just cuff him to the chair. Sit down. Stay right there. Lean forward just a little bit for me. Just like that. Secure that. Just like that, yeah. Why? I would prefer to shoot you with my handgun, to be honest. Yeah. If we're being honest with each other, I wish it went that way. Yes, how am I? Tell me how I'm on. Get out of here. I'm not a grown ass man with a hostage in my trailer. Yeah, hostage you guys planted. I planted her there? Yeah. Okay, you realize there are two cameras here, right? Okay. Yeah, Why don't you have a cup of shut the f up, relax, and enjoy yeah. the hat, enjoy, enjoy the seat. I'm going to wide girth on this one, brother. Yeah, there's this, some weird stuff in this trailer. There's like costumes and stuff, so I have no idea what is involved. Go, no, no, go, go around that tree. Yeah, yeah, do that, but go around that tree. Watch that fire extinguisher. Yep, that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah, go around this bush. Actually, yep. that's gonna be in, that's gonna be in the scene. Let's come all the way. Yeah, there you go. Come all the way around there. How did you How did you end up here? me up and told me he wanted to get together after do you do you have you did you already know him we were high school sweethearts i ended up breaking it off because he was kind of a little abusive okay so i left and then i forgave him he had wanted to go to the bar for a couple of drinks i said why not okay and we came back here and he went a little psycho told me that I wasn't I wasn't capable of leaving and I had tried to leave he slammed the door and locked it and I had asked him what he was doing and that's when he grabbed the duct tape and decided to have his way and when was that when did it all begin I I'm a lightweight so I get like a couple beers I'm good I mean was that that the day that you the day that you reported missing was 48 hours ago so Today is Wednesday. Were you, were you, did you get together with him Tuesday or Monday? I got together with him Monday. You got together with him on Monday. You had some drinks. And then you guys came back here. Mm -hmm. And was everything cool Monday? Or when everything did, when did, was when did things, Monday. and like, when did things start to go south? Tuesday. Okay. When I woke up and I wanted to leave, I had work. And he told me I wasn't capable of leaving. Okay. I had asked him why. And that's when he closed the door, locked it, and taped me up. Okay. Do you have a cell phone in there? Somewhere. Did he take your cell phone away from you? He did. Okay. And what, what was he, what types of things was he saying to you when, when he wasn't allowing you to leave? Well, I, because of me in the past with him, mm -hmm. I could tell by his eyes that he's, when he's gone just off the charts and his eyes definitely, it, there was no, there was no Raymond there. And he had told me I needed to be quiet and if I screamed I was gonna die so I I didn't really scream except for when I heard footsteps out here and so I kind of mumbled and he told me to shut up and it was a lot okay you needed a glass of water or anything to drink I'm okay. you're okay I made sure I was surviving okay okay great all right hang out okay. yeah this is the tape that yes. came off of her yeah here yeah hold on Need okay. gloves? I've got, I've got a key. I'm just gonna scoop it in. If I can. If not, grab the gloves. Yeah. I just don't want you to run it over on the way out. Just leave it. 
It wasn't there. Okay. Um, I don't know if this zip tie was on her or not, but it's sitting over here. Yeah. Did you have gloves on or not? What's that? Did you have gloves on? When? Um, yeah, I, for point. the most part. I took them off at some point. I don't remember when. Okay. Uh, I got my taser out of there. I'm going to hold on to that for Murphy. Yep. Okay. Dispatch said hour 45, hour 50. So I'll probably have time to bring her down. Okay. I'll most likely end up staying there with her. Yeah. And then once I once I clear there, I'll come back. Good, okay. Has he ever been abusive to you in the past? He was. Like I said, when we were together in high school, he had put his hands on me. 